<laughs> Hello everybody, Slacker Dan here. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my channel. Now here's the Mega Boom Trap. I hope you enjoy it. I had a lot of fun coming up with it. To start off, you'll be setting up a basic 3x3 base. I don't upgrade uh, any of the materials uh, because I really like to see all the twig fly apart. Outside of the 3x3, stick another foundation because you'll be putting stairs there for your victim to run up and set off the landmines. Now the great thing about this trap is that it uses up to 13 landmines. That's right. And if any one of the landmines is triggered, they all go off. I've done this, I've tested it multiple times and it works. After setting up your foundations, put up some walls and leave an opening for yourself so you can hop out later. On each of the foundations, put a pillar. Um, for some reason, I forgot to put a pillar in the middle, but you'll be wanting to go ahead and do that anyways. Uh, on each of them, each of the foundations, put a pillar. And then in the middle of the foundation, put two of the door frames. You only need two of them, front and back. In the corners, uh, just to help you place the landmines later on, stick some stairs. Uh, it's a bit of a pain running around on top of the walls to put your landmines. I find the stairs work a lot better. Now on the posts, on each of the posts, stick a landmine. Uh, again, you'll see that there's only eight posts there because I forgot to put one in the middle, but put one in the middle and put a landmine on each of the posts. Now the great thing about this is that no matter where the person runs around on the base, they will trigger a landmine. And you'll also be putting landmines in the joists of the door frames themselves. And this is a very important point because these are kind of like the trigger landmines. So I'll show you here how it's done. So you'll be having your landmines on all nine of the posts. And now, and this is the important part, stick a landmine in between the vertical and the horizontal bars of the door frames. Kind of like wedge it in between there. You'll see, you'll see what I mean here. There, come on, come on, there we go. Yeah, just wedge it, wedge it in each corner. Each of the four corners, you'll want a landmine. This is important. These act as a trigger to set off all the landmines on the perimeter. So if, if a landmine goes off on the perimeter, it'll set off the landmines in the interior, which in turn will set off the landmines all around. Afterwards, after you got all your landmines placed, put your floors on. I, I found it a lot easier to stick the floors working from the bottom up because you don't want to be running around on top placing floors because it's just too easy to set off one of these damn landmines. How do I know? Well, I guess really from personal experience. I'm dead. Yep, I'm an idiot. Anyways, live and learn. So after you have the entire uh, first floor explosive charge set up of your 13 landmines, put some stairs for your victim to run up. Now, I don't have the greatest graphics card, so I have the lowest settings. And you'll see that you can see the top of the landmines on the floor. That's why it's important to put walls all around. Um, although I have noticed that um, uh, graphics cards that are better than mine will actually render the floor more completely and will hide the landmines. Kind of interesting fact. But it's also okay if the base looks half completed because 
Raiders love half completed bases. So you'll be putting your bait chest. That's this is important. You want that chest there to draw on the people who want that sweet, sweet loot. Afterwards, put light sources. This is also very important. Uh, you can get fancy and put a, a ceiling lamp if you want. Uh, I also use campfires. Uh, you'll want to do this because at night, as you know, campfires, uh, ceiling lamps, whatever, cast a lot of illumination. And if you're out on a field somewhere, it seems like half the bloody server can see you and they come to investigate, which you want in this case. As you can see again, it's best to put walls all around the base to hide uh, the landmines if anyone has their graphics card at the lowest graphics setting, but most people seem to have uh, pretty advanced graphics cards, so the landmines are pretty well invisible. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. How you doing? <laughs> you're gonna be, you're gonna be famous. He's gonna be on Fuck, YouTube. Yeah, man. <laughs> Did the world go boom? <laughs> it was twelve landmines and you stepped on some. Get off. the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> nothing personal. <laughs> Again, thank you everyone for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. I made the mega boom trap just for you. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. I'd love to hear some stories and see some videos. So keep trapping and keep slacking.